Say hello to Terry Curran and Phil Prather, a couple of guys who wrote the book on Mission Beach. I mean, they go back to the days when this was a little community that had its own identity. Just a big neighborhood, really, is what it was. This is where we grew up. This is where all the kids in San Diego came when they came to the, um, came to the beach. These are photographs from longtime Mission Beach residents and from the San Diego History Center's archives. Take a look. It was San Diego, sure, but it was Mission Beach to be specific. And Terry says as a kid, he just loved living here. Well, life was so simple. Uh, in the summertime, I'd leave home at 8 o'clock in the morning and I wouldn't come home till dark go way back from the very beginning it seemed like there was a particular quality to this place something special something unique by the late 30s and 40s here phil and terry were calling it home and part of what they do is recall and document how it was you remember the safeway was right here and they'd mm -hmm. stack watermelons in the summer and somehow or another the kids would walk by and kick a watermelon and roll out onto the sidewalk and somebody else would be right there to scoop it up. <laughs> and out here buried under under the asphalt is the old, old Raleigh uh, trolley car tracks. Now you get to talking with these guys about Mission Beach and you quickly learn how at times and in spots this place has flooded of course rains, high tides, and one particularly bad storm in the 1920s when there was just a wooden boardwalk, the surf tore up houses along the beach, it was a mess, and out of that came this, the seawall that everybody knows today. Well, in trying to learn more about the seawall, Phil and Terry came across a piece of home movie film shot by Dr. and Mrs. Raymond Penwarden in 1927 and 28, and what this is, is the Mission Beach seawall being built. They built the piles for the retaining wall. They mixed the concrete, cut all the steel. It was all designed by a man named Burl Phelps back in 1927 and took months, but finally it started looking like the wall and oceanfront walk we know today. But there are some things you might not know. This wall goes all the way down to bedrock. And on the ocean side, he built a, a lip on here so the surf would come in, hit the wall, and bounce back toward the ocean. Only thing is, it's a public beach and the sand is generally higher than that lip so you don't see it. What you do see, every once in a while, is some pretty amazing pictures of surf splashing against that wall. Sometimes it's, the surf will bounce up 20, 30 feet and then come crashing down onto the walkway and uh, taking care of fences and sometimes houses on the, on the shore. Then there was this, one of the strangest things beach residents had ever seen. It's foam, just foam. I do recall, uh, it was probably 1939, after the big storm where the uh, wind blew the foam off of the ocean and covered the entire beach where we could go down the steps into this foam and it was over our heads and we'd walk through this and it was, it was one of those things kids love to do. So much more. There was the dredging of what would become the Mission Bay we know today, a mammoth project that fascinated kids like them who grew up here, lived here off and on their whole lives, still love it, still remember so many of the little things. Right here on the next corner was a drugstore with soda fountain. Uh, whatever you needed, it was here. And remember I said they wrote the book? They really did. The book on Mission Beach from Terry Curran and Phil Prather, who certainly do know and recall a lot about San Diego.